If you have an old computer, then it may have a video card like this one with a 15-pin VGA connection. Now, if you want to output that VGA connection to a modern TV set, you might run into some problems because most modern TV sets do not have VGA connections on them. I found a solution to this problem at Walmart. It was a J5 VGA to HDMI adapter, but it was priced almost $30, and that's more than I wanted to pay. So I checked eBay, and I found two VGA to HDMI adapters here. Uh, each of these was less than $10. I want to test each of these adapters out head-to-head, -head, see which one's better. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. The 15-pin video graphics array connection was introduced in 1987 by IBM. It offered 640 by 480 color graphics, which was a considerable improvement over the CGA and EGA that came before that. Uh, those used a 9-pin connection called DE9. VGA started 640 by 480, but over time, third-party manufacturers improved on this. It's even gotten to the point where you can get 1080p and higher resolutions, 2K resolutions, out of a VGA connection. Now I don't know what maximum resolution these devices support. Maybe it says something in the literature, so let's get into these packages. Start with this white one here. Okay, this is mini VGA to HDMI. We got our input on this side and a separate audio and video, so it should combine those for the HDMI output. Okay, here's the literature. I'll take a look at that in a minute. And it comes with a uh, mini, not micro, USB cable. Okay, uh, it says high definition here. Input output resolution 640 by 480 at 60, 72, 75, and 85 hertz. It goes up to 1600 by 1200 at 60 hertz, or this is 1080p here, 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Here is the black one. No branding whatsoever on this. There's the VGA input, audio input, and the HDMI output. Has a short 3.5 TRS cable, that's nice. And this one powers from a micro USB. Even though the device looks totally different, the user manual is identical, including the specifications on uh, resolutions that it supports. Now, aside from the size, shape, and color, there are some differences between these two devices. I already mentioned that this one uses a mini USB, and this one uses a micro USB. But also, this one has a female VGA connection. What that means is you would hook a cable that would normally go into a monitor into this device. This one has a male VGA connection, so you would either plug this directly into your video card or use a VGA extension cable to plug this one in. Alright, I've been piddling with this Windows 98 machine for a while, trying to get the screen resolution as high as possible. I know that this looks like a cluttered mess, but I want to explain what I got going here. This is a Windows 98 machine. I have it set to 1920 by 1080. That's as high as the video card in here will go. I'm feeding that into the mini VGA to HDMI. And the output on that is running into my Buy Easy HD Video Capture device. Uh, which is running into my HP uh, ProBook here and looping into this TV set over here. I recorded the entire Dungeon Keeper open along with some gameplay using the mini VGA to HDMI adapter. I then switched over to the generic black VGA to HDMI adapter 
this one plugs into the back of the machine so you don't see it here on this shot. Now let's compare footage between the two adapters. The generic black converter glitched a little bit when the recording first started, but I don't know if I should blame the converter or the capture device for this issue. Once everything got well synced, uh, then the difference became very, very subtle between these two. Perhaps the Mini VGA to HDMI was slightly brighter, but it is very hard to tell. Now both of these have audio input as well, so I want to compare that audio. Let's listen to the Mini VGA to HDMI. Okay, now let's listen to the Black VGA to HDMI. And I'm going to go back and forth between the two. When the video between these two sources are synced up, the audio is not synced up, so I need to look into that. The Mini VGA to HDMI is louder, and I think it also has better treble and bass response. I wanted to dig a little bit into this AV sync issue, so I've switched over to my regular test bench computer that does have a VGA output. Now the YouTube channel Day Job Orchestra was kind enough to allow me to use their audio video sync test. Link to that video in the description. And I'm going to see how well these two adapters sync up. Starting with a direct HDMI connection into my BiEasy capture device set to 1080p resolution. The audio on the capture device looks to be slightly ahead of the video, but not by very much. With the white mini VGA to HDMI, the top resolution I was getting was 1440 by 900. And the AV sync was a very close match to the direct HDMI capture. When I switched over to the black VGA to HDMI adapter, I was locked into 640x480 and I couldn't change it. Also, the signal looked noisy. I tried a reboot, no go, still locked into 640x480. With the black VGA to HDMI adapter, the audio was in front of the video even more than with the white one. I had planned on digging a little deeper, maybe doing some color bar tests. If you want me to do those, let me know in the comments and I could do that in the future. But I've already decided which one I like better and that's this box shaped. Uh, this one says mini VGA to HDMI. I like the fact that it has a female connection. It looked better. It sounded better. It didn't have the issues that I had with this uh, little black adapter here. Now, if you're shopping for these on eBay, these are both generic devices. You're going to have to look at the product that you are purchasing and purchase the one that looks like the one that you prefer. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.